Hey, no, Maxi. Do you have any interest in TTRPGs? No. Nerd. No, but that's okay. That's okay. I love you. You're beautiful. Hey, team. Uh, the video you're about to watch was recorded a while ago, but we decided to post it rather than have it hang in limbo forever. Uh, originally, it was going to be posted as part of the Tuscan Tales relaunch, but we're still on hiatus for a little bit. Uh, in fact, we're going to be turning off the Tuscan Tales Patreon and instead switching over for it to be part of the Team Manticore Patreon. So it's all going to be under the same Patreon, all of the stuff we do, House Fight Dorable, Tuscan's Tales everything else. So this should make it a lot easier to follow myself and Rowan and everything that we do because we won't have two different projects going on. So nothing's coming down off of YouTube and the same price tiers get you the same things on the Team Manticore Patreon. It's just all going to be in the same place. So you'll still be paying the same amount to get the magic items and maps and adventures that you did before. So stay subscribed and you'll still get access to all the videos as they come out. If you want early access to the videos when we start doing them again, sign up for the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon will still, at this point, get you everything that's going on with Team Manticore, uh, and we will let you know when Tuscan Tales is coming back. The Tuscan Tales Discord is also going to be merging with the Team Manticore Discord, so it's all going to be the same place. So we're going to have one Patreon, one Discord, uh, still two YouTube channels, uh, because all the branding's there, but we're trying to streamline it as much as possible because trying to keep up with everything was uh, a little bit much for us. And now, on to the video. You want to be part of the video? I have to explain what we're doing to the people. Do you want to explain? Do you want to tell them what we're doing? Do you know? You just want pets. You want nothing but pets today. Hello, everyone. Uh, it is I... Rob, instead of Tuscan, um, channel's on hiatus currently with the animations because life is chaos. Uh, I do plan to come back to it with some improvements, but in the meantime, I thought instead of just letting the channel die and have no content, uh, we still have games going on. I'm still playing tabletop with my friends, so I thought I'd bring you behind the screen for something I'm doing. In our gaming group, uh, we have a tradition where on your birthday, you pick a one-shot. You pick a system, you choose someone to DM it for you, and you just, it's just a one-shot. It typically goes a little long, everyone has fun, it's a good time. Uh, so this year, I wanted to do something akin to Star Trek, like an episodic sort of uh, space adventure, uh, but with... Knowing D&D, &D, uh, knowing tabletop, it make it a little silly. So instead of asking someone else to DM, I decided since there's a story that I wanted to tell, I thought I would DM this year. So since I'm DMing my own birthday game, uh, I can bring you into how the planning goes, how the communication goes, and then maybe we'll do some little animatics around the actual game if we can get a recording of it. So the first thing I had to do, after I knew I wanted to play a Star Trek game with humor, and also keeping in mind it's a one-shot, so I don't want it to be too rules heavy, was pick a system. And there are lots of systems available. I went out and did some research. I got a list of like six of them and whittled it down. Traveler, very good sci-fi system, uh, a little rules heavy for what we're doing in a one-shot. There's also, there is an official Star Trek RPG called Star Trek Adventures. Reading up on that one, it seems very dry. The, the issue seems to be that it's more like TNG based, whereas TNG, uh, it's where I got into Star Trek. It's my favorite like Star Trek thing that, that's been out. But it's a very reserved show, uh, at least in the first couple of seasons. There's not like Star, in Star Trek, there's, there's sex, there's violence, it's exploration. In the socialist utopia of the next generation, you don't have so many of those, like, conflicts, so a lot of it's just, like, they don't act like people for a while, and apparently the system, like, plays into that, so it's all very, like, it's less about the interpersonal relationships, which I didn't want to do. Uh, Lasers and Feelings, also very highly regarded, not quite what I was going for. Uh, there are also 
a lot of like getting away with it barely legally Star Trek RPGs like Far Trek. So what we landed on, what I landed on after doing research, was a system called Space Aces. It's a very simple system. I'll put a, a link to where you can buy it in the description. It's like five bucks for the PDF. You've got five stats. You've got, uh, it's a very, like the rules fit on like a page and a half. And the rest of the book is kind of random tables. So if you want to play solo, you can. You can just generate an adventure for yourself. Or if you want to play with people, you can do a base plotting out. So I thought that, so we're going to go with Space Aces. Because I'm an insane person, mm -hmm. part of my planning for this is uh, world building. Just to, just to have it be something that the characters feel like existed before they were there so and also like to set the tone a little bit so uh here's what i've come up with so far for that they're not part of the federation they're part of the intergalactic planetary partnership so they have to announce themselves ipp uh i'll like have some alien races that i made for it that kind of fit into the the classic like terran vulcan klingon like Smart alien, tough alien sort of things. I have my legally distinct technology I've been making up. Instead of phasers, they have quasar pistols. They have food combinators instead of... I thought it was a little much to give them full-out replicators that could make clothes and weapons and food and all that. So instead it's a food combinator where it combines nutrient pastes with artificial flavoring to make something that looks like the food, even if it doesn't, the texture never quite matches, but it's the closest you can get, so that's what they get instead. Uh, they also have, instead of a tricorder, they have a sept quarter. Because, and then I figured out the seven different things it can scan for. <laughs> because, again, insane person putting way too much thought into this this is a game we'll play for like five hours i'm going to plan it out for like probably a day and a half in order to make it feel like an episodic thing uh, i am throwing an extra thing into character creation where every character needs to have a shared thing with another character whether it be an experience they had together or they're in a love triangle of some sort or there's something that connects them to every other player so that they're kind of like we'll skip to like season three have it be that so uh everyone's already got a previous relationship whether they went to the academy together whether or not like you know one of them has a scar from the other one from a bar fight something like that i also Wondered if I should give each crew member a secret, but that's more of a long-term campaign thing. I probably won't do that. So I've started coming up with uh, ship schematics and the crew roster. Basically, with the crew roster, what I'm going to do, none of them, no one's going to be able to be captain. I know who the captain is right now. So no one can be captain, but the rest of the roster, eventually, it'll just be, these are the titles, and you just claim your title for your character. So if you want to be the head doctor, there's something for that. If you want to be the lead engineer, there's something for that. If you just want to be an ensign, there's something for that. And then I'll just bump those NPCs out um, and fill it in after everyone's chosen their titles. Um, one of the things that always sticks out with me in Star Trek is the ship's computer. So... Uh, this is a thing I'm going to be doing. The ship's computer is called ship. So what I'm going to do is if anyone uses the word ship, the computer's going to come on and greet them. Because it can't tell you're just talking about the object rather than talking to it. Because all the technology's there, but it's kind of stupid to make it funny. I also, I'm, I'm also messing with this ship's thing. I'm wondering if it has, like, some rudimentary AI where they tried to make it more human, but it just comes off really artificial and pandering. Like, you're just like, ship, why is life support off? Why, hello, how, how is your weekend? I do have some basic plot things. The hard part about this is one of my players is behind the camera. The good news is Rowan doesn't remember much when I talk. Especially about game, it just kind of like flies, it bounces off her brain. But I don't want her to know my secrets. So I will say, uh, what we're going to do, it's going to be the start of a brand new mission for the ship. And there are going to be immediate changes that happen. It's basically going to be like, they've established the show, now they have a new season with a new premise. And yeah, that's what I'm going I'm to throw them into. There are a couple of twists I have planned. 
and we'll see if they actually get into those because as any DM knows, uh, you make a plan and you, the characters will go a completely different direction. But I'll have a basic plot of what's going to happen and we'll see what they do. If you're new to running a game, this all seems like a lot, but it's a lot of fun for me. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope it helps you design, run your own games. Uh, maybe you decide that your crew is going to do the birthday one shot thing. Good for you. Um, yeah, and just hopefully you get something out of it and it's fun and insightful and whatever else. Because I really enjoy doing all this and I hope you enjoy watching me do all this. And we'll get back to the animations and the good stuff. Uh, winter? Maybe winter? Look at the camera, wolf. Wolf. Look. Yes. Vicious. Vicious wolf. <laughs> she has no interest in the camera. She's already famous. She does not need your pandery little internet comments. No. She just wants to groom my elbow. <laughs> she loves you. I love her too. She is, she is such a daddy's girl. Look at this. Look at this. She wants nothing but to just snuggle all day. <laughs> You're stuck here. I'm stuck here. Fuck off.